Blaze from QuickBooks here with a special myth-busting edition. I continue to hear from some people that you're not able to edit your prior payroll yourself in QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, or Elite. But that is a myth. Yes, you actually can edit your prior payroll in QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, or Elite without contacting support in many cases. So I'm gonna go over exactly when you can edit your prior payroll and what you can do. And then Priya Kaza, who manages the development of the feature, will go over and show you how it looks in product and how it works. All right. So you can do payroll corrections in QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, and Elite, so long as the taxes haven't been filed yet and the paychecks haven't been transmitted to the integrated workers' compensation partner if you're using them. Again, it only matters if the taxes have been filed. The payroll taxes have been paid, it's still okay. And obviously, if you're not using the integrated workers' compensation partner, then you don't have to worry about that one either. Now, there's different things you can do depending upon how the employees were paid. If the employees were paid by direct deposit, then you can void processed direct deposit paychecks. Or you can edit and delete unprocessed direct deposit paychecks. If they're paid by paper checks, then you can void, edit, or delete the paper checks. The nice thing is, once a correction is done, the system will automatically recalculate your taxes owed and handle any adjustments in the next payroll run. So now where can you find this feature? Feature itself is located on the paycheck list page by going to the paycheck you want to edit, void or delete, going to the far right and clicking on that drop down arrow, and then selecting what you want to do. Okay, so here's the flow in one more way. So again, if there's a paycheck that I want to edit, first, I need to know if the tax forms have been filed yet. If they have, then you must contact support. If they haven't been filed, then the trick question is, has the taxes been paid or not? And it doesn't matter whether they have or haven't, you can continue on. The last question is if you are using the integrated workers' compensation partner or if it was paid by direct deposit. Remember, if you're using the integrated workers' compensation partner, then you can't edit it once the data has been transmitted to that partner, which happens on the date that the employees were paid, so the actual paid date. As for direct deposits, we talked about that earlier, but just to refresh, Processed direct deposits can only be voided, and unprocessed direct deposits can only be edited or deleted. But as long as you're good there, then again, the correction is done. And again, the system will handle any adjustments that need to be made in the next payroll run. All right, now I'm gonna turn it over to Priya and she'll show you how it looks and works in the product. I have three paychecks. Each paycheck is $3,200. On the last paycheck on March 4th, the tax caps are hit. We can clearly see that on the employer taxes. Let's also go ahead and look at the payroll tax. I have paid some of the taxes on this account. We can clearly see that. All right, now let's go back to Zoe's paychecks and void the first paycheck 
that was created. And that means in this account, it was created on February 18th. I'm going to void this paycheck. All right, void. It's telling me that there will be an adjustment checks uh, on this account uh, if they are needed. Um, and also we are creating a negative adjustment check because we are voiding the paycheck. Right? Void. All right. Now, if you look at it on February 18th, I created an adjustment uh, check of minus 3,200. I updated my SUI, uh, SUI, SUI rates earlier, so it also updated that. Uh, we, and then uh, on the 3,200, it, it also created an adjustment check because it's only we, we calculate only a partial amount that's reflected on the employer taxes. All right. Now I'm going to the payroll taxes. Since the taxes have already been paid, it shows me, hey, here are the overpaid taxes um, and I can resolve from the tax center. 